The reason God loved David, the runt of that family, God says the prophet of the house of Jesse, knocks on the door, Jesse opens the door and said, can I help you? I'm the prophet of God. Well, what are you doing here? I'm here to anoint your son, the next king of Israel. Saul's gone stupid. He's been replaced with your son. And Jesse said, well, which son? I'm sorry. I got a house full of sons. Which one? I don't know. God didn't say anything about that. And so he said, well, get them there and line them up. So, so Jesse lines up his seven, seven boys and the oldest, youngest. So the prophet sitting there said, well, which one is it? Well, God's not talking to him. And which one is it, God? Come on, which one is it? And so he said, well, I, you know, if I don't get this right, I get stoned to death at sundown. The only entertainment they had back then was stoning false prophets. They didn't have drive-in movies. There was no McDonald's. There was no RV. Just, hey, let's stone a false prophet tonight. So he's got to start moving. So he goes to the oldest boy, and he starts to pull the oil over his head, because that's what you do when you know him. And all of a sudden, God said, that's not him. That was close, God. That was close. Probably the second born. They're always more aggressive than the first born. Gets ready to pour the oil on his head, and God said, that's not him. So he gets seven no's in a row. And he's sitting there and he's thinking, oh man, I am dead. What? And he looks at you, you got any more boys? And this is what the Bible said. Jesus said, yeah, we got one more. We don't let him in the house. He smells like sheep. <laughs> but go get him. And the Bible says, David, the ruddy, complected runt of the family. If anybody looked like a king, it was not David. The ruddy, complected runt of the family comes in and in the New Living Translation, the prophet said, God, you got to be kidding no, you're looking at the outside. I see his heart. He's my man. Pour the oil on him. And so he poured the oil all over David's head, and he said, you're our next king. God help us. <laughs> so David's sitting there with the oil running down his face, and his family did not throw a party. They got mad at him. Three of his brothers rode with Saul to kill him. Sometimes when you obey God, it doesn't make everybody happy. Not everybody has a parade, you know. It, it sometimes changes things. But you have to follow God when God's asked you to do something. So David became the king all kings are measured against. So if you ever go to Israel, I was over there just last year for the third time, and, uh, where they've got David buried, it's inscribed. David, a man after God's own heart with the exception of Bathsheba. God had it engraved on his headstone. <laughs> like, yeah, he was good, but he went stupid one time. And there's a whole sermon on that one.